Number 51. What is the effect on the concentration of hydrofluoric acid, hydronium ion, and fluoride ion when the following are added to separate solutions of hydrofluoric acid? Then we have letter E out of the bunch. So in this case, we have to figure out what's going on when we add HF, which is hydrofluoric acid. Now I wrote down an equation already here. If you guys need a refresher as to why this equation is for this question, go back to number 51A. That's the first question in this section as we describe, you know, what's going on and why it's HF, which yields H plus plus F minus. Hydrofluoric acid yields hydronium and fluoride ion. So those are your three over here. So we're adding HF. So in this case, they gave us one answer already, right? If we're adding HF, that means that HF has to increase. And HF is right here. So I know that this is going to increase. So I answered already one answer out of the bunch. So I know that HF has to increase. But because of that, what happens to the H plus concentration and the F minus concentration? Well, this comes from Le Chatelier's principle. If you have way too much of an amount, right, you're always going to shift to the opposite side. So since the increase is on the left side, the predominant reaction is going to shift to the products. And since you're going to the products, that's what's going to increase. So H plus is going to increase, and F minus is also going to increase, because you're going that way. So H plus will increase, F minus will increase, and that's the answer for this one. They gave us an easy one for the last question out of the, uh, the number. So hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope you guys are doing well. And if you want to help us out, please press the subscribe button. That will help us out tremendously. And I thank you so much. Let's keep working hard, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.